Hi, this is Eric Bixa with Advanced Nutrients and our 20th episode of Hydroponic Secrets. Thank you for joining me today. We're on location here in Tofino on Long Beach in British Columbia, Canada. Today, I'm going to address a costly mistake that many growers make. And that's when they add high phosphorus content bloom fortifiers to their conventional hydroponic nutrient solution for soil, soilless applications, and of course, hydroponics. Now, a typical liquid bloom fortifier might have a 0, 13, 14 NPK. Those are the three numbers that appear on the label. The middle number is for phosphorus. That would be the 13 in our example. And the third would be 14, and that's for potassium. Now, this isn't actually the form of element that plants are taking up. There's a conversion required to figure that out, but that's not going to be important for our purposes here today. However, what is important is supplying these nutrients in the correct ratio. The type of formulation I have just mentioned is based on very old agricultural research that's really more intended for soil crops where phosphorus availability is largely dependent on mass flow. Basically, you need to over apply phosphorus in outdoor situations to ensure that there's some level of availability at the roots. As it rains or moisture percolates down through the soil, phosphate is carried with it past the root membrane where it is absorbed and also leached away from the root zone. Phosphorus does not move very freely throughout the soil and the majority of phosphorus absorption occurs through this action of mass flow. Now, in indoor situations, it's very easy for the grower to toxify their soil with too much phosphorus because we don't have the type of leaching and the roots are typically confined in a soil environment in a container or bed or in tubes or beds or cubes using hydroponic systems. Now, to ensure the most phosphorus absorption and the best utilization of that element for heavier flowers and fruits, it's very important to supply these in the correct ratio with potassium. That's the third number, again, on your fertilizer label. Research has shown that a two to one potassium to phosphorus ratio improves yields and reduces phosphorus toxicity, which growers sometimes may have through over applications of their bloom fortifiers. Advanced nutrients hammer hammerhead is a zero, nine, 18 NPK. It also contains a balanced amount of magnesium, which is a very important carrier fuel in a lot of plant processes. Additional levels of sulfur are also applied to help balance the formulation, and these contribute to taste and aromas in your favorite crop. Hammerhead is super concentrated. As a standalone feeding, only two milliliters per liter of solution are required. And because it is a liquid formulation, all of these elements are already dissolved into your solution, which makes for easier mixing, and it helps to prevent clogging in emitters and sprayers in systems such as aeroponics. This is also very important to the rock wool grower, where the pores inside of the rock wool cubes hold valuable space for oxygen. If you use inferior quality nutrients, the particulate in these will clog those pores, reducing the available amount of oxygen to your roots, thereby slowing and impeding vigorous flowering growth that's going to lead to heavier yields. Hammerhead can be used in conjunction with your favorite bloom additives, but in doing so, I would recommend that you cut back the overall strength of the bloom additives you're already using and use hammerhead at half the recommended amount. This is to compensate for the increased EC or TDS that will be associated with adding another nutrient into the mix. Commercial aeroponic and rock wool growers will particularly like this product because it's very inexpensive, it's already dissolved into solution, and only a small amount is required to increase the density and weight in your harvest, pump out the essential oil production, and help bring out more vibrant colors, tastes, and aromas in your favorite plants. For other tips and tricks that are gonna help, help you bigger and better yields, please 
visit the link at the bottom of your screen. That's at www.advancednutrients.com slash newsletter. To the email of your choice, you're going to be delivered some excellent tips and tricks that are going to help you grow to new heights. This has been Eric Bixa with Advanced Nutrients and our 20th episode of Hydroponic Secrets. Thank you for joining me and see you here next time.